Like, it's us to normies back to watch more Breaking Bad. Breaking that, Glass. We gotta come up with... We need to have just like a brainstorm one day. Oh, yeah. We need to come up with something better than that. <laughs> yes, we do. I agree. <laughs> but we're back with season two, episode five. This episode is called Breakage. Cool. Saw a lot of that in the last episode. Yes, 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 we did. We did. Um, yeah, last episode, um, you guys called it. It was like a parallel between their two conflicts, and at the end, they both met mm-hmm. and uh, maybe resolved some of the conflicts. Who knows? I think um, if anything, they at least let out some, <laughs> some, rage. some much needed anger relief. Because they were at the end, they were sitting there like, you want breakfast? Like, they were just like, all right, let's just like continue on. I love, I love it when they're. Yeah, it's great. It's great. They do have a really interesting dynamic. Um, but yeah, you guys have anything to say, or do you guys want to just jump right in? Let's jump in it. All right, guys, let's do this shit. Before we start, a couple announcements. This is not a market substitute for the actual Breaking Bad video, TV show, whatever. Please watch it on Netflix. Get the Blu-ray. Support the content we watch, the content you like. And also, we are a couple of episodes ahead on our Patreon. I think four or five. We have our uncuts on there as well. Check that out. It supports us, supports them, and you guys can get to watch more of us. Uh, let's, get, let's get started. And, and we never saw any result. Like when they were collecting evidence, usually I meant to touch on this. I th- the, the opening scene is almost always addressed within that episode. That time it wasn't. So. Yeah, man. Yeah, call things out, man. Some things you guys see, I, I have a problem never ever seeing. The show is very, very. It's like a whole big adventure. Oh shit, that's right. Vince Gilligan is a G. He's a creator. Walter's like blood. Oh, chemo drip, yeah. Sir would have a hard on watching half these fucking scenes. They are really great shots. Hmm. No more. No. no. Absolutely not. How are you two lining up? <laughs> As you can see. I'm busy, but we're good. Absolutely. It's all good. <laughs> He's like, you lie to your friends and I'll lie to mine, but let's not lie to each other. Mm. Don't lie to your doctor. So, I know we can discuss the cash discount. Absolutely. It's included. We do have a payment plan available should you be interested. Congratulations. <laughs> Hope is the best medicine. Like you they're congratulating that? you for giving you this you, bill and all this you stuff. You feel bad in that shit? They're giving you a hope button after they give you that big of a fucking bill? I would be very angry. Okay, like, fuck you. Can you please explain to me the distinction between diagnostic and exploratory? You know, it, it should be covered. Okay. Well, I'm sorry you couldn't be of more help to. Bitch. Been around so many smokes. Oh. The hospital bill came. Three days day. 13,000 and counting. Is this something that uh, Gretchen and Elliot might cover? I, uh, I know it's strictly your domain, but... I'm sure they will. I'll have it. So are those two separate bills he just got? Mm-hmm. One for the chemo, one for his three-day stay. Jesus Christ. He's like, I gotta go. Marika. I mean, that looks like he'll cover... Oh, shit, he's still got the gun, too. Maybe one bill. There's not enough. Oh, man. Ooh, that's rough. Oh no, no. I hate that. What? Toilet's clogged. Yeah. Another fucking expense. He isn't like fixing himself. 
The mon- is that money? No. Cigarettes. Oh, fucking- Your ass just got caught, Skylar! Why would you put him down the there. toilet? Look, if you were gonna be done with him, why didn't you just chug him at the gas station? Yeah, I don't understand. <clears throat> oh shit, so did those guys get caught? Bring me up to speed on Tuco Salamanca. Dead. Still? Wait, last things are quiet, you know? Not a lot of crystal on the streets right there. Uh, we keep hearing the name uh, Heisenberg. Maybe it's a tweaker urban legend. Still, somebody somewhere is cooking that big blue we keep finding. We'll stay on it. No why sharks are at the top of the food chain. Some of those suckers travel thousands of miles in pursuit of their prey. You, my friend, are a great wine. <laughs> How does Albuquerque liaison Tri-State Border Interdiction Task Force? What? Like one hell of a promotion. Hey, you want to grab lunch? Oh, hell yeah. Because you're buying. Done. Traitor. Something had to happen from the yeah. loser's teeth. What's about to happen? Oh shit. Is he freaking out? I think he's having a heart attack. Oh no. Yeah, he's having a fucking heart attack. Or a panic attack. Did he press like the emergency button though? It looked like it. Okay, I think he was freaking out. It was like all workload and stress, new job. I don't know. Possibly. You really gonna show back up? I'm gonna give him the money. His word is his bond. That's true. I got some nerve coming back here, or even dumber than I thought. Balance for the uh, the tow, the repairs, and extra for the damages and stuff. Glad to see you're not looking like a smurf anymore. My word is my bond. Take it. His hands are huge. What would you charge me to throw this here? Five. Come on, now. Five hundred. A month? A week. Oh my. Outside. Inside. The fence is too easy to climb. Inside, padlocked, bus gate privileges. Month to month. Cash up front. So two G's a month. I would do that. Hey! And see, this is why I don't think Walt should have given you the money. You're not fucking smart with it! that one. Serious. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> okay. He's getting a car, a home, storage. I'm proud of you for getting a hoopty. <laughs> He's losing you see it says very, one bedroom, very Jane. clean. Jane, I gotta say, this place is awesome. Jessica oh, motherfucking Jones. Care. At the usual drill, I need a W-2 or a recent pay stub, uh, current maybe employer, it's just former address, you know. Yeah, look, uh, I can... Unbelievable. I'm just currently in between situations. Then I'm currently not renting. Come on, yo, can you please, please just help a brother out? No! Yo, my dad's not really a make exceptions kind of guy, trust me. Pen on paper, that's what I need. Go run your game somewhere else. My folks, they kicked me out. So I'm, a, I'm a disappointment. Why are you telling her this again? I work hard. I will pay you every month and I will pay you on time. I will not mess this up, okay? I swear. Bro. Rent just went up. 100 more a month. That's the cash of rent. Yes. Hey, you rock. Thank you. And in addition to first and last, I went two more months. DBAA <laughs> fee, non refundable. No problem. DBAA. Obviously. What does that mean? What's, what's DBA? Damage. Don't be an asshole. Oh. Gotcha. I live next door. Really? I'll fill it in. Just sign your name, which is what, by the way? Uh, Jesse Jackson. <laughs> Come on, really? Jesse Jackson? Oh, does he have a microbrewery? Ah! Oh, we haven't seen her in a while. What are you doing? Beaten off. What's it look like up there? You call in sick. The day after receiving a long-awaited career-boosting promotion. So you can play Oktoberfest in the man cave. All I'm saying is, uh, it'll be fun. I can take a day. Get that sweet ass out of here so I can concentrate. Huh? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what the fuck, Hank? I want 
Yeah, because he killed two ghosts, he'd be like having panic attacks now. That's a good question. I don't know who is or isn't the first person he's killed. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I hate that helmet. I hate class. I hate that shit. <laughs> what? Bro, I knew that was going to happen. But why are we cooking when we can't even move what we cook? Well, how much do you think you can sell? I got profile now. Don't you get that? A DA's up my ass. I don't think either of us are eager to jump into bed with another two coffee for you and heist the queue selling whatever you can. There's a third way. We got to be two cop. What? Cut out the middleman, run our own game. We control production and distribution. That way we stay off the front lines while moving some serious class. I mean, the point here is to make money, right? Oh, they're gonna be fucking with other people's territory like this. I'm not comfortable bringing in unknown entities into our operation. Well, you don't get to vote. Yeah, you cook, I sell. That was the vision of labor when we started all this. Because we do things my way this time, or I walk. Oh. You need me more than I need you. What? Hey, he didn't call him, uh, Mr. Mr. White. Yeah. He hasn't noticing things. Oh, Straight up. Skinny Pete! Yeah. Oh, cool, crib, man. Here we go. Oh, cool, crib, man. You this guy I did it in high school. <laughs> Just make me want to punch him. <laughs> 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 I find Big cave you pretzels. And now, you sell for 2500 I keep the two. You keep the five. Point it how you want. Okay, quarter, half, teen, or whatever. But I make what I make. Too large. No exceptions. This is a big opportunity I am giving you. A bear opportunity. Exactly. All right, this is the ground floor. This isn't going to work out well. Okay. DBAA, mofos. All right? Apply yourselves. <laughs> Jesse and his cohorts. Jesse's making moves. They're like, they're, like, they're like the winners of 2008. <laughs> cigarettes. Ask her why there are cigarettes. Oh, it's gonna be oh he's gonna look. Because not only is she pregnant, he has lung cancer. Oh. Like that's that's doubly bad. Mexican Texas, for God's sake, right on the border of lawless Mexican hell. The cartels they litter the place with human heads. Who? It's a good decoration. Oh, that was fucked up. I'm sorry. It's a good boy, and I could see us in a cute little condo in Georgetown. What's happening? I'm tired of hearing her sister her sister talk. Oh yeah, she never apologized for the theft. Yeah. Everybody's lying to her left and fucking right, and she knows it too. She's gonna get somebody to admit it, one way or another. Now or never. I mean it. Or it'll never be the same. Apologize? Will somebody just fucking do it? Her and Walter right now are like... You don't respect me enough to apologize, to tell me the truth, and... Yeah, bro, man, I can't have her sister and her husband just, like, lying and putting her through this shit. Why are you like, finishing me? Marie! Oh, there we go. Yay, she apologized. Man, Skylar needed that. About yeah, time seven in her life, like, like apologize yeah. to her. Yeah. Was it scary? Hell yeah, it was freaking scary, you little punk. But you were way faster than him. Walter saw it all go down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kid Cockroach comes out from under a fridge. What do you do? I mean, don't think about it. Stop now. Where do they come from? Criminals like the one you... I mean, what do you think it is that makes them who they are? Bro, literally he has, but like, all the answers. Just cool. ask him. Badger? Oh, okay. Those are mine that Badger, like, gave her a fucking hug. <laughs> like, <hey. laughs> I love like the happy scene, like music they overlay. Like everybody's doing it, it doesn't matter. Truck drivers, damn. Everybody, anybody. Oh my god, that coke nail. Yeah, you see it? Holy fuck, you could like, in the jugular, like just kill somebody with that. That bitch is short. I'm really surprised that this is going as well as it is. I definitely thought they would've been like fucking with them. Yeah. Oh, like cutting it and shit? Yeah. yeah I totally thought they were gonna cut it. I would have like jumped in a dumpster and hid. No, I'm set up again. Around. That fucking cackle, man. I'm gonna hear that in my nightmares. Mm. Was she in this show and she tricked them before? I don't think so. Right? Damn, she's in another show and did this too. Then what show was it? Fifteen K. Damn. Help me understand the math, okay? 
you and I split $2,000 per ounce. One pound. That's 16 ounces. 16 ounces should net to me $16,000. So I'm missing a grand. Six, something came up. Skinny P got robbed. I held up by a couple junkies. That's cool. Okay, Skinny P's cool. So you're saying that the guy got robbed, or rather you, doesn't matter. Dude, it's called breakage. Like Kmart, shit breaks. And you're thinking this is acceptable. It's the cost of business. Yo. Yo, I've got another technical term for you. Non-sustainable business model. What happens when word gets out? Once everyone knows that Jesse Pinkman, drug lord, can be robbed with impunity. He does have a point. You think Tuco had breakage? In his hands. It's true. He broke bones. My guys get what they're up against, and they're careful. So am I. And you're all tucked in tonight with your precious family. So why don't you just stop being such a freak about everything? I mean, seriously, what the hell do you want me to do? Damn, I get both their points, but like, Jesse ain't no Tuco. I think this kind of goes back to the question he asked Tank, though. How do those people become how they are? Yeah. And he could very well push Jesse to it. Perhaps you might know something about this. Hide your shots. Perhaps I don't want to. I'd like an explanation, oh, please. Really don't like Why did you do this? Be a pregnant, for God's sake. Three and a half cigarettes is not going to do a thing oh. to the baby. I tossed the rest, and I'm sure you'll be very glad to hear that, yes, I feel ashamed. This is so unlike you. Oh, Why really? Perhaps I smoked them in a few seconds. <laughs> I was like, really? Or is he now having like, um, no, that's real. Or is he hearing shit? Is he like having post, why can't I think of a PS? Post traumatic stress disorder? Yeah. That's like, or is there something really out there? <laughs> oh. Oh. Your beer. You asked me. Can you bring the gun back? Yep. I want you to handle it. How can you ask him to do that when you wouldn't do it yourself? I don't like that. But certain people in higher powers doing that make you do the dirty work and they won't do it themselves. But like, really, is Walter in higher power? He he makes the product. But he still he won't sell without Jesse. I mean, it's kind of like uh, Jesse fucking, can find someone to make like a it's lesser kinda like product. It's kind of like Tommy and Arthur from like uh, yeah. Peaky Blinders. Yeah. Um, oh, that's how okay. Yes. And see, so they do they do address the opening scenes in almost every episode, but they yeah. didn't do it in the last one. Yeah, I told yeah, Tuco's haunting him, bro. The death of him. That's why he's having panic attacks in the elevator and mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, I wonder man. if that is the first person he's like actually killed. I want to say probably. Like he was always probably big talk, you know, big dick talk, all that stuff, you know. This is what I can do, just blah, blah, blah. But now that the real deal happened, he's like, well, shit, this is actually real. Mm -hmm. It's all good. So what did you guys think about this episode? It, I would, I don't know. I really, I don't like the fact that Walt's coming up. Because in the start of this, he was so against murder. His, his, mm. no more bloodshed. And now he's just... He's literally putting a gun in Jesse's hand and, and asking for more. You, and that, I think, is really alarming. Not just alarming. Do you think it's fair of him to ask Jesse, like, to do that? I don't know. Like, was were those roles discussed like that? Like, that's a you're I, a street person? You're, I'm, I think so. I've always felt, because, like, I have, being in a military background, one thing that I respected a lot was seeing uh, uh, my, C, my COs and my NCOs that are higher than me, that they would get in the thick with us. Like, if we were out there, we were in the dirt, we were moving things around, they were moving things around with us. I truly believe if you're in any sort of position of, like, leadership, and you can do the same uh, work as, I would say, the people that are your subjects or whatever, that shows true leadership. That's how it should be done. When somebody does some shit like that, we're like, oh, go do this. That's just a bitch move, in my opinion. That's, it always has been. So that's the that's thing, though. I, I don't think... There's a difference between being in a position of power and a position of leadership. So, Walt is in a position of power because he can create phenomenal product. And it is so far, they have not seen anything else like it on the market. Jesse, on the other hand, is in the position of leadership. And he adamantly expressed that, he, that this was for him. This oh, yeah. was the division of labor he set up. So, I don't necessarily think that it's like a bitch, moves on, bitch move on Walt's behalf because he's right. 
The second people realize you can be taken advantage of, you are setting yourself oh, yeah, up. Yeah, true. No, I, I agree with you on that 100%, 100%. But, like, my whole thing is it's just the way that Walt asked him to do it. You know what I mean? I know what you mean by power. I know what you mean by leadership. But two, I mean, I know they're different, but two of them kind of coincide. It's like even in Game of Thrones, you know, like uh, a fucking Ned Stark, you know, the one who calls, you know, the, the sentence must swipe the sword, mm-hmm. you know? It's the same thing. It's the same kind of concept. It's the kind of way I look at it. And it's like... If anything, if he would have been like, yo, you not doing this is... What he did the first time, I felt would have been adequate. But then, now that you're talking about how like it needs to be kind of done too, and the way he's going about it, Jesse would never have been pushed any other way except for a wall coming to him and saying that to him. And I'm not saying I, Jesse needs to go out and, you know, either murder Skinny Steve or Just, murder the, the tweakers that robbed Skinny Steve. <laughs> Skinny Pete. Pete. Skinny Steve. <laughs> I thought she was making fun Skinny of him. Skinny Pete. Pete. No, I just got his name mixed up. <laughs> I'm not here making fun of my like, oh. <laughs> But, um, because it's like, I don't, I don't know what's going to happen, but I think in this specific instance, it... I'm I'm not condoning it. Oh no! Like n- necessary evil, because you were, as as a drug dealer, you especially when you're dealing with such a, I guess powerful addiction, you've got to be prepared to protect yourself. And yeah. it is very naive to think that you can go into because this isn't Kmart. Kmart mm-hmm. has a lot. no breakage. And the thing is, Kmart has a loss prevention staff. What do you got, Jesse? Yeah. So yeah, I love this like thing. Is this breakage, which is the title of the episode, by the way. Yeah. I mean, I mean, technically, yeah, there is like in, in, in businesses, you know, you lose some, you win some, yada yada yada. But yes, he does have to make his name known on the streets because, like, who else is selling except you guys right mm-hmm. now? Make your stance, make your power known. Um, when you said that, like. You know, he needs him because he's cooking in that really, really good meth. Yes, it's really good meth. But at the same time, Jesse can always go find somebody else to cook meth. Not not as good, but Walt can never go find... Maybe he can, but he won't go find somebody mm-hmm. to sell and do this deal with him. So I kind of feel like Jesse just a little bit has the upper hand in the situation. Just a little. And I'll agree with you there, but even... He'll have to do a lot to keep that upper hand. Oh, yeah, especially yeah. if his the market is stealing from him. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And Jesse's just being, like, you know, young and just, like, stupid and naive, but he mm-hmm. knows deep down that Walt's right, and he has to go make his, like, yeah. name known and shit. True, true. And it's, like, hopefully nothing bad happens to Skinny Steve. Um, <laughs> skinny Pete. Because, like, I like him, you know, it wasn't his fault. Like, the, the lady yelled, cops, cops, and he was saving his ass, too. Yeah. But, yeah, make, make him tougher, too, so that shit doesn't happen to him again. And ultimately, that could just be what it is, is that he puts the gun in Skinny Pete's hand, yeah. and he's just like, look, dude, you can't let this happen again. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, literally. But, like, it, they don't have to do it, though. They can leave the game. I, like, I hope they know that's, like, you don't have to do it. You know? mm-hmm. <laughs> Please don't. Um, Dude, I swear to God, that chick, that crackhead chick, that did t- that to Skinny Oh, that like, cat. Like, yeah. yeah. She is a crackhead in another TV show or movie. I cannot. Maybe she's somebody scary. I can't. No, dude. She's a crackhead in another movie or show. I can't remember. And she does the same thing to somebody else. She looks like the, the demon-possessed lady that yeah, I think gets I mean, so. locked in the, the big. Which one was it? There's like three of them. I think it's the first one. What's this? Am I from Sally? Perhaps a fresh soul to eat? Oh, like, God. you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's who she reminds me of. That's so creepy. Don't ever say that again. Baby. That is so fucking creepy. <laughs> Holy shit. Spooky season. It is. Yeah. So um, would you guys, so one of the things I thought was fucking hilarious, I thought it was so hilarious how, like, he invites his whole crew over. <laughs> and it's like, this is like a housewarming party. And he has, like, RC fucking cola and pretzels. This. Yeah. Perfect. Business meeting. <laughs> business meeting. Yo. You don't have anywhere to sit, but business meeting. <laughs> He's like, no, we don't do that. Here. Like, it's all business. It, it, and that I was proud of. Me too. Honestly, I was so happy to see him like put his foot down and like, cause he he put his foot down the wall. I was like, you know, this is how we're gonna do a business business. And he did it with his friends mm-hmm. too. Like, no, no smoking, no drugs. We're, this is business. This is the ground floor shit, right? <laughs> and I love yeah. how he's like, you know, there's always more. If we want to make more money, I got it. We can make more money. He's like being like, you know, like Work giving him an, an incentive and stuff. Mm-hmm. I was like, ah, he's like, actually has a whole speech. I was proud of him. Um, Kudos to that. Um, and what, it, you keep going. Oh, no, 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 no. What was her name? Jessica Jones, chick in the show. Oh, oh yeah. I forget. What I was. wonder, is that going to be love interest? I don't know. She gave him a look. So mm-hmm. I'm like, don't give him that look. He's not yet, not yet. And I think what did it is because she's like, my dad owns the place, but I manage it. So mm-hmm. I think in her parents' eyes, she probably can relate in some way of like, I'm a disappointment too. Yeah. My parents wanted more for me. 
and not to the same degree as like Jesse's a just disappointment to his parents, but I think they can emphasize on that, and I think that it might be some diddling. Definitely, I get, when she said when he told her like yeah I was disappointed again I got kicked out all this bad stuff she still gave him the house I'm like after you told you all that stuff you're still gonna give him a house. It's like giving fake names. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse Jackson. Jackson. Like, and I don't get why he needs such like a big house. Go get yourself something smaller. Well, I think it. I think that is. Maybe for the area, like a small Strange, house, because it's yeah. only one bedroom. It is, it is. One thing I appreciate about the show, because after that, we had the whole montage happen where they played, like, that funny music. Uh-huh. They go looking music. The show is really, like, because they were, like, kind of, like, gangsta scenes, you know what I mean? They could have, like, looped, like, a, a rap beat over that and made it so, like, hood and yeah. so, no, like... that's not just I know, company I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, but, like, the way the show has just, like, just made that scene just the way it is mm-hmm. is just... Fucking classic. Oh yeah. Well, what so cracked good. me the fuck That's up is awesome. like, the first person we saw bad yourself to that. <laughs> he gives her a fucking hug. <laughs> like, they're like so happy go lucky. It's just like uh, you get so it's so well. The camera work is so fucking well done. It's, you gotta give us credit. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Um, what else did this episode we have? Oh, um, he Scott. found out cigarette smoking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, I I see where you're coming from, but in the same breath, how fucking dare you? I know. And like, she like trumped him so bad at the end. Maybe like, I smoked them in a fugue state. Yeah, in a fugue state, I was like, oh shit, that's that's, that's some fighting words right there, man. That was great. Yeah. So she was obviously a smoker. He knew that about her. Yeah. He yeah. knew her immediately. He when they parked at Hank's house, he opened that thing to see. He knew. He was he caught on immediately. Mm-hmm. Their relationship. And I don't know. Are they gonna last? Like, there's just so many fucking lies. Or is he gonna eventually tell her the truth and she's gonna be some, like, mob queen wife? I don't think... Well... You don't... Because <laughs> I think in, we're seeing a lot of character development in Skylar in a different way. Because she, like, in the first episode, she's like, here's your healthy bacon. And yeah. she was very, you know conscious about all the decisions she's made now she's eating food with high sodium now she's smoking well no, she threw him away yeah, she yeah, felt yeah. bad but i think we're seeing her kind of develop not necessarily like a backbone but a, maybe more of like a sense of carelessness yeah. so maybe she'd be down to be a mob wife but i still think and her her core she has a family that Value she stuff, yeah. yeah and that is being a mother I think takes up so much of her identity that she would not ever risk putting them in harm's way. Yeah. And I think if she found out what Hank was doing, she she would ask him to leave. Oh, a Walt, yeah. 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 She made um, Walt not Hank. Yeah. yeah. Oh, am I still mixing up their names? <laughs> yeah, you're fine, you're fine. I mean, we, we, kept, we kept saying, we kept calling Emilio Crazy 8, but I know we met Crazy 8 like a couple episodes ago. Mm-hmm. We get the names confused. I don't think. I'm <laughs> starting to feel more for Skylar, that's for sure. I'm starting. I don't know. She's angry, I don't want to say humanize or anything, but like I just I'm I'm starting to see her point of view and everything more and more, and I just feel bad because she is a pregnant woman. She knows what's up, and she knows she's being lied to, and it just really sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that whole scene with Marie was kind of like good. Oh yeah, I, yeah. She definitely needed somebody, somebody in her life to apologize mm-hmm. to her. Be like, you're not crazy. Yes, this really happened. I know, dude. It sucks being told that you think that everybody thinks you're crazy. Or like you feel like you're crazy. No one's telling you anything, mm-hmm. right? But you get gas, yeah. gas lit from all yeah. angles. I can't fucking talk. But <laughs> I think that was big of Marie too, because I was really mad at her for saying she's like, "Why are you punishing me?" I like, know. I was like, "Come like, on, you got your pregnant sister." Almost like she almost had to go to jail. She didn't rat you out. Like, what the fuck's wrong with you? But she did. She apologized. And I think, in a lot of ways, especially when she's like, Dave told me I need to be more vocal about that. Her therapy's working. Like, she's yeah. finally doing the work and making some progress. And hopefully, she'll become somebody Skylar can rely on because mm-hmm. I really don't think she has anybody right now. She really needs, she said, she's like, I need my sister. Mm-hmm. Like, be your, be your there for your sister, man. Yeah. Um,. What else have we seen this episode? I want, I want Marie's kitchen. I'm not going to lie. Everything's yeah. fucking purple and I love it. <laughs> the last thing is Hank. Yeah, I wanted to touch on him. He is spiraling out. And what I think is alarming, because we don't know who those two guys were, but I wonder if they're going to recognize Tuco's teeth. I wonder too. But yeah, I, I think, because uh, Hank, the way he talks, you're right, the, the big dick talk, he's made it sound like this is just a walk for the park, park it really isn't. And park, that he's though. taken like an umpteenth amount of lives but he's probably arrested and beat the shit out of a lot of people yeah but I think 
Like, he was like a barrier. Like, I can smack you and smack you, but I know you're not going to smack me back. And now he's in, like, that kind of situation. Mm -hmm. Like, you got smacked back. (laughs) Yeah, and he's getting promoted for it. So, I think that... It's about pressure. Yeah, the pressure and you receiving a a pay increase and more responsibility on top of just taking a life like that. For taking that life, really. For taking that life, you're getting all this stuff. So, there's, like, I feel like there's expectations now for him. mm -hmm. And it's, like, you can't just, like big talk your way all around yeah you're actually... expecting things from you yeah. now that you might not be able to deliver all the time one thing i've noticed is in this episode at least last couple episodes that these characters all have vices you know what i mean mm-hmm. it's like maria i mean we call it, um skylar with the cigarettes and like hank it's like he i feel like shows off more than he can really take and it just takes a toll on him mm-hmm. like the mask like the mask came off when he, in that elevator for him i feel yeah. like he was just like oh shit but then yeah. he had like put it back on. He's like, "Hey, buddies, let's go. Yeah. Let's go get some so some food." Mm-hmm. And you know what? I've I've been there. I have been there before. I've been there where it's like I'm by myself and I'm literally like, "Fuck!" And I'm just want to like scream and shout and cry. But then like I've gotten up and I'm like, "All right, let's go." Yeah, <laughs> I've done that. I've done that. Trust me. Trust me. Oh, it's yeah. it's hard thing to do. He's he's a champ. Yeah, he's a champ. The only person who can really talk down to him is Marie. She was like. <laughs> He, he, she's like, I told you don't tell me to relax. Like, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. I know, it's hilarious. Um, honestly, though, I was really surprised to see him, because, like, you call in sick today? Yes, he did. He's taking a mental health day. Like, yes, he needs it. <laughs> he needs Shit. it. He needs it. Yeah, so I think, obviously, it wasn't enough. And the fact that, I don't know, I almost worry that the bottle's popping off, that that's, like, some sort of an omen. Because that was going to be something that relaxed him and kind of helped him feel at peace. Yeah. And then they woke him and up and in the middle of the night. And like, it just like stirred him up even more. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry I'm feeling not for Hank's guy. All those people I wasn't really feeling for before, I'm feeling I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Hank's still a dick. Oh, yeah. But, but humans, we're multifaceted. We all have our weaknesses. And we can empathize with those weaknesses. Yeah. But he's still a racist piece of shit. Yes. <laughs> Throw me one of those beers, though, bro. I want to try one of those Hank beers. Yeah, <laughs> can I play Oktoberfest in your garage with you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Marie. I know. All right, y'all. Anything? I think that's pretty much covering this episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Well, we thank you guys for watching with us. We love you guys. We'll see you guys now. soon. Peace. Bye. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching another episode of Breaking Bad with us. Subscribe to the Normies on Patreon for early access and uncut episodes of Breaking Bad and all our great series. Shout out to our super patrons who keep us going. Luis, Tamor, Quasi, Toy Soldier, Benjamin, Joe, Keyboard Junkie, NYR fan, Joey, and Philip. See you next week.